fork is a system call for creating a new process the new process created is called the child process and both the parent and the child process will be executing the lines after the fork system call we will see it with the help of an example we are creating a file called fork.c for running the fork system call you need to have uni std.h The fork uh, system call returns a process ID, so it will be stored in the variable PID. Uh, so the uh, in the operating system, uh, there is a specific type defined for that. That is PID underscore T. The variable name is PID. Then we are calling the function fork. So uh, this will create. Uh, a new process which is called child process so and if you write anything after this that will be executed by two process both the parent and the child process so if you write a hello world here then it will be executed by both the parent and child process which means that if you run this you will be having uh, Hello world, printed toys. So I am compiling this. So if I run this, you can see that hello world is printed toys. The way of knowing which one is the parent process and which one is the child process by looking at the return value of the fork. In the case of child process, fork will return zero, and in the case of parent process, the PID of the uh, child is returned. So this PID is usually an integer and that integer value will be greater than 0 in the case of parent and it will be 0 in the case of the child. So if the value returned is less than 0 then it means that some error has occurred. So we write if PID equal to equal PID equal 0 that means that that is a child process then we will be printing I am child process so else else means PID we are assuming that there is no error so in the else part that is PID is greater than 0 we will be printing printf I am parent parent process so uh, if I run this you have since I have called for you will be having two process and in the uh, child process part I am child process is printed and in the parent process part I am parent process will be printed so So it prints I am parent process and I am child process which means that parent process uh, runs first and then child process runs. The, uh, the order is decided by the uh, scheduler of the operating system. So uh, assume that I have we have a variable called var integer variable. Uh, it will be assigning the value as 5. And uh, we are incrementing the value by 1 in the child process and we are uh, printing the value in the parent process we are incrementing the value of variable we are by 2 again we are printing the value
so if you run this you can see that in the child process the value printed will be 6 and in the parent process value printed will be 7 so when we call for a new child process is created and in the parent process variable var is assigned value 5 and in the child process also uh, we have another variable var same name which is also assigned 5 and in the case of child process uh, we value of var will become 6 and in the case of parent process which is different we value of var will become 5 plus to 7 so 6 and 7 will be printed 6 in the child and 7 in the parent Get PID is a system call that will help you to print the PID of a process. So here we have two process, a parent process and child process. So we are trying to uh, print the PID. So in the uh, child process, we can print it by typing. So the system called for printing the PID is get PID. So in the parent process also we can print the PID. So in the child process, the PID of the child process is printed and in the parent process, PID of the parent process will be printed. So you can see that PID of the parent process is 5511 and PID of child process is 5512. Parent process create uh, the child process. So usually the uh, PID of the child process will be greater than uh, the parent process.